are here at the Rose Garden Arena, home of the Portland Trailblazers. Here's a little known fact for you. The Trailblazers court, the wooden court, is placed over the existing ice that the Winter Hawks use. They don't melt it, it's just right there. So glad you're with us on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. You know, a group of dedicated artists are bringing their craft to children in the hospital. Why? Well, here to tell us more is Roxy McGovern. She's the executive director of the Children's Healing Art Project. Roxy, thank you very much for being here. Thank you. You know, I've heard um, of music being brought in for kids in the hospital, and it sort of enriches their stay in an otherwise, I'm sure, mundane environment. I'm sure art does pretty much the same thing. It does, and um, what CHAP does is we bring uh, art projects and art supplies, an unlimited amount, um, whatever the children want with a group of um, teaching artists mm -hmm. and that are, are mobile, jump around from Dornbecker Schnitzer Diabetes Center and Night Cancer Institute. Mm -hmm. And um, we just provide supplies and art projects for kids while they're, while they're there. You have a great story about one girl whom you've met that's actually help to teach you. Mm -hmm. We learn all the time from the kids that we work with and serve. And one of my favorite stories is we were teaching a summer camp um, outside of the hospitals with kids who are able to leave or have some sort of disability. And one of the gals that we work with was born without arms. She does everything with her feet. She types, she paints, she does everything. And um, at this camp, we had a group of well children alongside kids in wheelchairs and kids with no arms. Mm -hmm. And um, she started painting and with her feet and we were doing a project where the kids were weaving belts out of duct, duct tape, string, ribbon. And she was sitting there weaving with her toes. And all of a sudden, all these kids sitting around the table took off their, their shoes and socks and were trying to do it just like she did. Unbelievable. And it, it was an amazing experience to sit and watch. And so we, everybody was so full of joy and so excited to see um, the influence that she has had on other on other children. Can you actually see the transformation between the faces of these kids before and after? You can. You know, at first, it, it's natural for for kids to stare, and um, uh, and just be curious as to how how is she going to make art? Mm -hmm. How are these kids in wheelchairs going to make art and do things and um, you know, it's, it's really amazing to see the transformation. It starts off with just curiosity and then it takes a second and they just jump right in and they want to do things just like everybody else. Now, how about the kids in the hospital? Do you see them change from, from, uh, frowns to smiles? I'm sure. Sure. And I think one of the most important things that, um, that CHAP does is we're able to allow kids to be kids by bringing these art supplies. Mm -hmm. Um, it's really fantastic to see them walk into their the playroom and, with their IV poles and you right. know or some of them are on scooters because their mobility is limited and they wheel in and and um, they just kind of look around for a minute and then they just jump right into making art and it's an amazing place for kids to network and talk to each other and there's something about you know not having idle hands and working on projects and doing things that enables them to freely talk about what they're going through with each other. And we usually just sit back and let them do their thing and, and um, just kind of supervise the projects. And there'll be children who just finished some sort of treatment or chemo yeah. sitting next to a kid who's getting ready to go into the same thing. And that, the, that child acts as almost a mentor talking about what their experiences were, right. and what the other child could possibly be experiencing mm -hmm. and, and just helping, they're able to t network and talk to each other and work through what they're going through together. Now I'm sure with any uh, nonprofit, you are looking for funding as well to try to grow your program? Mm-hmm. Um, we uh, always will take donations. Um, we write grants, just about everything every other nonprofit in Portland does. Um, uh, we have lots of wish lists on our website um, for getting art supplies donated. Um, a, a huge thing that we really rely on is volunteerism. Um, we have a very small staff, and so um, the two biggest ways to support CHAP are through volunteering and donating. And what we're going to do is we're going to put your website uh, for everyone to see, and uh, if you want to help support, please check out the website. And Roxy, we want to thank you for being here and sharing your experience as well. Thank you. Make it a great day, everyone. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers.